Welcome to probably the only Blender tutorial for custom skinning in League of Legends. This first part is only going to touch what programs do you need to start making skins with Blender. So yeah, let's begin. Firstly, obviously, you need Blender. Any version will work, but I recommend 3.6 onwards. Right now we have the 4.0 and it's pretty good. So yeah, for that you need to install Obsidian. Any will do, I used the most recent one, 5.1.7. You need also LOL to GLTF, right now we have 3.0.3. .3. You need both the CLI and normal one, so download both. And lastly, you need the hash updater from Martina XS. I'll leave all the links in the description and it should be easy and quick to retrieve. I recommend you set up a folder for all the skins you want to make and all the stuff related to custom skins, like here. Create a folder with the programs and another for the project skin. Here you want to put all the programs that I mentioned before except Blender. Firstly, you open Obsidian. You can create a folder or you can for that called Obsidian 2 and just drag everything over here to folder. We have another folder called Vault to GLTF and open it. Open both the normal log to GLTF and the CLI log to GLTF. You want to drag both versions in the same space. And lastly, you want to open Obsidian, create another folder called Ashes. Enter the folder and drag the last download, which would be the CSH updater. After that, you want to open Obsidian once. It's gonna be give this error because the thing hashes function is not working properly, but it's fine. You wanna grab the League of Legends directory, be in wherever you install League of Legends, Vive Games, League of Legends. This is what you're gonna select. Click OK. And even though it says here indexing, you just wanna go here, think hash tables off, close, close, and now we run CH updater. Just before running CH updater, yes, H updater, I'm sorry, be 100% certain that all the files that are here are deleted, and then you run it. For that, it should open this program and it should be good to go after it closes and after a little while it closes and obsidian is good to go now the next time you open it it should index like before but after a very little while 5 to 10 seconds it should open this at this point everything's done and i'll see you on the next tutorial